Hello guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Paranoid Android 3 Plus ROM for the HTC One. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you boot up the device is the stock Android 4.2 lock screen. This lock screen offers you many options such as a place to put widgets in the lock screen and also a way to go straight into the camera from the lock screen. Now one of the most important features of Paranoid Android is the Halo feature. It's been the rave of many a uh, tech site and uh, today I'm going to show you how it works. So by default it's set to Google Now and you can just press, just give me a second, can't really see with the camera in my way. You can press it and it'll come up with Google Now. Right now it's showing showtimes near me the weather and it also shows me some stuff I've been searching recently. Now this isn't the only thing it can do though. It can also do messages as well. Now to demonstrate the Halo feature I'm gonna send a Hangouts message to this phone from one of my other Android phones. As you can see a little icon and a little pop-up bounced in the side. I'm gonna select that, and it's gonna open up the Google Hangouts app right in my phone. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. This is not a this is not a down downsized version of the app. It is a complete app in a small size. As you can see, it is in the middle, and I can still access my home screen from here. Now to remove the halo, all you have to do is double tap on the notification and just drag it to the top, like so. To bring it back, swipe down on the notification tray and press this little icon here. A great feature of the Paranoid Android ROM is the ability to change individual apps into tablet mode. So what you can do is swipe up from the top Go into the easy quick settings menu and press this little icon in the bottom. It'll give you the options to change the size of the app as well as change it from phone UI to tablet UI. I'm going to change it to tablet UI and press yes. It's going to reboot the browser and as you can see now we have the full tablet UI experience with separate tabs and the back and forward buttons. Now for performance. In the Antutu benchmark, I was getting around 2200, which is a little bit disappointing in terms of the higher scores, but as you know, this is an early build and we never know what can change in the future. The Quadrant Standard benchmark unfortunately didn't work and I was unable to figure out why. Now there is quite a few performance issues on this ROM. Sometimes the launcher stutters and transitions aren't as smooth as I was used to on the stock ROM, but all in all, it is definitely usable as a daily driver. I'd like to thank Slick underscore Rick for this amazing ROM and porting it to the HTC One. The Paranoid Android team have mentioned on Google Plus that they'll, they'll be releasing an official ROM for the HTC One soon, and I'll definitely be waiting for that. Until then guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more.